In this video, we'll show you how to use the Forcepoint Web Security product to help control use of the social web. Controlling how employees use social websites, like the ones shown here, is important because while many are valuable business tools, social websites also pose security risks and can reduce productivity. Let's get started. We are using version 8.3. In the Online Manager where you configure the Web Security product, under the Web tab, go to Settings. This is where you enable the real-time security analysis offered by the Forcepoint Advanced Classification Engine, also known as ACE. Expand the menu under Settings by clicking the down arrow. Go to Scanning and Scanning Options. Under Security Threats Content Security, Make sure that the On button is selected to perform advanced security analysis on content from sites with elevated risk profiles. Scroll down to the Outbound Scanning section. Now, make sure to select the checkbox next to Analyze for and Block Outbound Security Threats and Enable Social Web Controls if Content Security is enabled. Social Web Controls are enabled by default if Content Security is enabled. Then, click OK and Save and Deploy. If you want social web controls to apply to HTTPS traffic, HTTPS must be configured in Forcepoint Content Gateway. For more details, see the Content Gateway Manager help in the documentation section at support.forcepoint.com. It's time to set your policies. Go back to the Web tab. Under Main, expand the menu. Under Policy Management, click Policies. This brings you to a list of policies that you can edit. Let's select the default policy. Notice that our default policy includes multiple categories, each starting with the words Social Web. These Social Web categories allow you to control your employees' use of specific social websites like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. The green circle with the white arrow next to a category means that category is permitted. For example, the category Social Web Facebook is permitted, which means you allow your employees to visit Facebook. Permit is the default action. If you do not want to permit use of Facebook, you'll need to change the action. The other actions you can choose are Block, Confirm, and Quota. Block means employees cannot view the site. Confirm means employees are asked to confirm that they are accessing the site for business purposes. Quota means employees are asked if they want to use quota time, which is a pre-designated amount of time to view the site. Advanced options are also available to block keywords, file types such as executables and images, and block based on total network bandwidth usage or bandwidth usage by HTTP traffic in categories you've selected. For even greater control, you can drill down and apply access options to specific features within these social web categories. For example, if you want to permit employees to access all Facebook features except commenting and games, here's how to do that. Highlight Facebook Commenting and click Block. Highlight Facebook Games and click Block again to block access to this feature as well. Now click OK and Save and Deploy. Let's go to Facebook to see what happens. I'll try to post a comment, but I'm blocked from commenting. What happens if I try to play a game? blocked again. If you'd like to control the use of social networking sites in general, sites which are popular but separate from the ones labeled social web, you can do that too. These include sites like Pinterest or Flickr and thousands of other sites, many of which are added daily. Scroll to the Society and Lifestyles category and select the subcategory called Social Networking. You can apply the same access options, Permit, Block, Confirm, or Quota, as well as the advanced options to the social networking category. 
combined with the power of Forcepoint real-time analytics and Forcepoint threat seeker intelligence. Forcepoint social web and social networking controls help empower your employees to take full advantage of the social web while also adhering to your acceptable use policy. To find out more about Forcepoint Web Security Social Web Controls and other features, go to support.forcepoint.com and click Documentation. We hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching.